Carlos Gabriel. I'm the chairman of the COSPAR capacity building uh, panel. And uh, I was also a member of ESA um, until last year when I retired after 25 years as scientific staff of the agency. I have been asked to tell you, to give you a glimpse on the activities of, um, of capacity building uh, by COSPAR and also to tell you about our plans concerning capacity building using small SATs. The initiative started some uh, in 2001 with the aim of saving, fostering, maintaining the scientific excellence in developing countries. If you check this map here, um, you see there the average scientific, um, the average number of scientific publications per year per country logarithmically color coded. You see that the uh, unequal world in which we are living is also very unequal in, in science. And this initiative was trying to go against that, uh, especially after in the last decades, these inequalities uh, were uh, growing. At the same time, uh, there are a lot of, uh, in our domain, in space sciences, there are a lot of data in modern archives, which are easy to gather, free, and even cutting edge data uh, because the most modern uh, projects with the best uh, satellites and the, the newest uh, cameras and, and, and instruments, they are the ones which are also uh, trying to disseminate uh, their data in, 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 this, uh, in this way. Uh, not only not only uh, data, but also the tools for the data analysis, which are used for producing the, the best results and the, the results to be published, are offered um, in many cases publicly. And so the idea was to um, use this data and these tools uh, in for capacity building in developing countries through uh, very practical workshops. And we started uh, with uh, space astronomy because um, the space astronomy was the, the, the most advanced area in, with respect to data and tools at, uh, to distribute it at that uh, time. We started also with uh, two leading space missions, uh, one from NASA and one from ESA. And especially in, uh, it was very interesting that uh, it was started in X-ray astronomy, which was so far a discipline in the astronomy, which was only um, uh, present in, in, developed, in, in the developed uh, world. Started with space astronomy, but the project expanded very rapidly into other domains of space sciences like magnetosphere, solar physics, planetary sciences, and even very new things in space sciences like uh, crystallography in space. The characteristics of our very practical workshops is that uh, they have to be locally proposed. The proposal must come from a local group in, in a developing country, they are they have regional character. Um, it has to include some thirty to fifty percent of local funding to show that there is a, a real interest there, um, and it has to be also local interest in, in the type of sciences further on, so that the the participants of a workshop can find uh, later uh, jobs and an activity there in this in this. Uh, a new learned area. The capacity building panel is selecting twice a year uh, the uh, workshops to take place. And normally we are in the last years, uh, we are conducting some three to four uh, workshops per year. 
The um, participants are 25 to 35 students, on, normally on PhD level, and um, from the region, so to uh, reduce the, the travel uh, costs, uh, they are selected on basis of uh, scientific merit, almost purely. The lecturers, uh, who are also acting as supervisors, uh, the lecturers are in the rule um, uh, high-ranked people in their uh, disciplines, and it's um, remarkable uh, how we managed to convince those um, uh, those people uh, very important in their fields to spend two weeks away from everything, um, teaching and and and, and helping uh, students. Um, I think the uh, the results which they are obtaining are one of the key points here. Why it's so interesting for the for the lecturers to come. They act also as project supervisors because uh, more than 50% of the time uh, the students, the participants are uh, working on their projects, which is uh, normally an analysis, uh, a data analysis project trying to um, uh, to use the tools they are learning to, um, to get science out of it. Even at the end, of the um, of the project work of the two weeks of the which is the, the normal duration of a workshop, either um, individually or in groups, they have to present individually what they have obtained, just to show that uh, what they have uh, learned and, and how they are managing that. Infrastructure needed for. Uh, for the organization of a workshop is, is simply, it's very uh, simple. It's a conference room and a workshop room, which sometimes is the same as the conference room with uh, tables uh, moved around, a uh, broadband internet connection must be there. And uh, there was a time we were needing a lot of computer facilities. These days, the students come with uh, their own laptops and with the software prepared uh, in advance to, to work on it. A very important point is the accommodation uh, in a common hotel for of lecturers and uh, students uh, with common meals and so on to maximize the contact between them because one of the important points for the students in the developing world is that they get a contact to these uh, international experts. Uh, sometimes we need also some type of transport and so on. Uh, after um, 10 years of uh, workshops, we have introduced also uh, fellowships uh, which are given to former participants of the workshop who have presented together with a receiving scientist in an, one in, in an institute. They have presented a research proposal for doing joint research in two to six weeks. We are giving at the moment some between four and seven uh, um, fellowships per uh, year, per term, uh, and um, that's going well. The results of uh, all our efforts um, can be summarized. We, we have uh, 38 uh, workshops have taken place in, in 23 countries with more than 1,100 students. Uh, 70 fellowships were also given in all space sciences, which I have mentioned before. And you can see in the, in the map now superposed the, with red dots the uh, places where these uh, 38 uh, workshops have taken place so far. Now, um, a couple of years ago, two years ago, we have started uh, to think about a new type of uh, workshop to make use of the so-called new space um, paradigm uh, concerning the, the usage of uh, small sets, nano sets, uh, uh, micro sets. They, they, they are a, a different type, should be a different type of, um, of uh, workshops like the ones we are conducting now for 20 years because um, they um, require multidisciplinary work around these very small uh, satellites. And so 
actually they came to the point that it should be aimed at younger students and should be mainly done in teamwork. And uh, since the hardware uh, work and the software work related to, uh, um, to uh, small uh, sets um, require much more time uh, and this multidisciplinary work, we um, came to, um, we know that we need a different funding model. We need more money uh, for this. Last year we found Inspire, which was a perfect match for what we were trying to uh, do because Inspire was offering us existing capabilities in this, in this sense. And the idea then was, okay, uh, let's build uh, teams in developing countries to be um, added to the Inspire, to, to work together with Inspire. And at the same time, it's not only a team, but also is helping the build up of uh, university labs in the in, in, in those uh, universities where the students are coming from. So we are not thinking about selecting uh, students individually, but in, in, in teams. And so the idea was also was the, the idea was, is also to foster the regional links around these uh, small sat projects on the long term and the plan is too much to, to call a long term plan the plan we had at that point was okay to start immediately with a pilot project selecting just one university uh, team to join the last summer course of this year which uh, of course couldn't take place uh, due to uh, to COVID. But the idea is to go um, in this way, to select teams uh, to join regional uh, university campuses um, uh, worldwide. So following our patterns that bringing the science to the countries and not bringing the students to the, to the, developing, to the very developed uh, world uh, to learn. And with the idea of connecting this further, um, uh, this, this uh, giving a, a support to the selected university labs where the, these teams are coming from, uh, establishing more permanent um, uh, links uh, between uh, them and the general Inspire COSPA uh, initiative. So here we are, I, I hope I have given you a, a, a glimpse of um, what we have been doing the last 20 years and, uh, and our plan.